So I think it's hilarious when people say that the whole academic research game is easy or they sort of sell that there is these five quick steps, tips or steps, and then everything gets done. Um, anything in life where somebody is saying that or selling that, uh, they don't know what they're talking about. And they're likely selling you a great big lie. It's like when you go into a store and um, somebody is saying, if you buy this particular thing, then um, it's going to be so easy and everything's going to come together. It's um, They're selling you a big lie. And the more that I have been in this profession, the more that I realize, like, man, you know what? The number of people that actually do that and sell the great big lie to other people is pretty high. Um, and it's almost comical when I see this, that this sort of myth that they tell. Good morning. Um, you know, if you're to tell the truth to somebody... So I see this a lot with like PhD students, right? Or people coming in to the profession for the first time. If they were to tell the truth, and I tend to tell the truth, I was like, you know what? Doing a paper in our field takes 10 years. And that is the truth. On average, it probably takes about 10 years if you think about the, um, the amount of work that goes in. And that's pretty full-time dedication. People don't realize that. It's a lot of work and a lot of dedication. And um, the irony is, is everybody says, that, oh, it'll be a year or whatever, you know, a year at the longest. And um, what I've come to realize is that those people don't know what they're talking about. And they're selling a great big myth to a lot of people. And you don't realize that uh, once you're in it, in, and it's, it's, it's interesting, right? Like I see this that um, I see it in the eyes of people now that once they're in the profession for longer than a little bit, they start to discover, like, holy crap, he's absolutely right. Um, and, you know, for the most part, um, I'm not going to sell somebody on a bunch of lies and crap and and then it's too late, right? Like, that's the thing. Like, after the fact, when people go through this sort of discovery process in it, it's too late. And then they look back and they're like, I don't know what I did. <laughs> um, it's just, like, super... Um, I don't know. I know it's like... Uh, gosh, I hate to say this, but, you know, it's almost like... Um, for, for me on my side, it's, it's like, you know, I, it's sort of feeling of like gloating, but it's, just, I, I don't know. Um, but you know, the, on the other side, it doesn't feel good, right? Because you come to this realization that you're sold a bag of lies and, um, you know, generally I think, a lot of people come to terms with it later on, or they sleek away, right? Um, that it is just grinding work for a very long time by the time something actually sort of clicks. In other fields, it's different. Um, it can be much quicker, and they have just quicker cycle times, but the sort of expectation, and I hate to say it, is just, you know, lower in a lot of cases, or the structure is different, right, that they have, you know, um, extensive labs and things like that, that are doing, you know, a bulk of the work and they're distributing work that, you know, one or two people are doing across 30 people, right, in a lab, which, you know, then you can condense the speed of getting something done much quicker, um, plus having a whole bunch of technology and all sorts of stuff, right, um, and it becomes a different thing. Good morning. So, you know, this this is the sort of reality that a lot of people come into is at about year three, you know, four, when they start looking around and they're like, wait a minute, this is a lot harder than one would think. And um, 
you know, that it becomes a lot more clear. Good morning. Thank you. Um, and you need to realize, like, before you get into this, that's why I'm never going to tell people, like, these sort of myths. Hey, good morning. Um, with how long things take. Or, you know, I'm pretty upfront with it just takes a bucket of work. I mean, even in all these other fields, right? It takes a bucket of work. But it's weighted in proportion. The market weights it in proportion, right? So, you know, one really good publication in our field is weighted in the market um, like five in another field, right? That uh, that that sort of competes in the same pay- place, right? So it's just kind of like weighting it. Um, you have to sort of expect that coming into it, that it's just... A different market and not to say one is different than the other but it just means you know in comparison it's just a bucket bucket load of work right like stupid work um and you know until you come to that realization that man, and nobody nobody's come to the rescue like nobody cares about you um and and it's just like this this like sort of bleakness of coming to that and that's like at year probably year three you come to that realization of into a phd it's like man um unless there's something else going on and um you know the market sort of reveals a lot when you go into that right um and you really have different perspective on things you have a different perspective on life after that and really changes you. And for me, it changed me a lot um, for the better. And, um, you know, you, you realize that you're not playing the game. Um, you realize that you don't need to do any of that crap. <laughs> and you just keep going, right? Like you do your thing and you go home um, and that's it. Like you just, that's that's the end game. And once you come to that realization with it, that, um, you know, and it, so, so going through the process of coming to this realization, and I still feel not great about it. Um, and I still have a lot of, man, let's buck up. But, <laughs> but you come to the realization that the rest of it doesn't matter. Um, and let other people play their games. And you just keep walking forward, right? Like that's what you have to come down to and think about when you're doing the research game is you're a strong person and you just keep walking forward and you forget about all the rest of it you push the world out and you know what nobody is coming to the rescue but you can't change your world that much quicker you don't have an alternative so you just keep marching forward it's like when you have, you're an entrepreneur, right? And that's why I like that analogy with entrepreneurship. But an entrepreneur of like a fledgling corner store where you're barely scraping by and barely making any money. What's your alternative, right? You can't quit because you have a, a corner store. So you just keep going. And you say nuts to the rest of the world. And that's it. And you just take the, your steps forward and every year incrementally gets slightly better. So your corner store one year is making $25,000 and then the next year it's making twenty seven, and then the next year is making twenty eight, And you just keep doing that day in and day out um, until it gets, gets better and your corner store is making $100,000 a year, right? And that's literally the trajectory that you're going to be on when you're doing this. And, you know, you might be thinking, "Ah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Good luck to you, then. (laughs) You haven't played the game long enough. All right. So that's all I wanted to say is just have a reality check and um, look at things for what they are. All right. Take care. Have a wonderful day.